Montvale Baptist Church devotional for Friday, April the 24th, 2020. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. Hebrews 4, 9. Rest seems to be a rare commodity in an action-packed and stressful world. It certainly seems that there is very little rest for the weary. While a person may take vacations to recuperate, they still usually return home and have to rest from the vacation. Rest is not only a physical necessity, but a mental necessity as well. Rest especially needs a spiritual rest. The people of God have already enjoyed the rest of salvation, as referred to in Matthew 11:28. The people of God may enjoy the rest of consecration as they yield to his teaching and control, according to Matthew 11:29. The people of God will eventually enjoy the rest of heaven as the rest from their labors. There's a remaining rest for the people of God, which is a rest of faith. Israel of old was kept out of the rest of Canaan because of unbelief. The rest of faith on the part of the Christian is a rest that comes as Christ lives in and through them. And they are fed from a consciousness of his finished work. Galatians 2.20 Andrew Murray said this, Not I, but Christ. This is the rest of faith in which a man rests from his works. With the unconverted man, it is not Christ, but I. With the feeble and slothful slothful Christian, I in Christ, I first, and Christ to fill in what is wanting. With increasing eagerness, it becomes Christ and I. Christ first, but still I second. With the man who dies with Christ, it is not I, but Christ. Christ alone, and Christ all. He hath ceased from his work. Christ liveth in him. This is the rest of faith. The remaining faith, rest of faith is reserved for the Christian who knows the Lord Jesus Christ. The rest of faith is coupled with the sense of victory in Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to be victorious today. Father, help us as we rest firmly in our faith in you, and the knowledge that we're saved completely and eternally through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Help us to be a wonderful witness for you this day and the coming days ahead. And we do pray this in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen.